I'm Shiva. On this week on Anime Cons TV, I want to do a quick cosplay tutorial on something I get asked about quite a bit when I'm wearing my costumes, which is how do you make appliques for your costumes? Uh, Sketch and I have done appliques for all sorts of our costumes. The ones that, um, that are probably the most intricate ones that I've done are the ones for my Lulu from Final Fantasy X costume, and also my Princess Zelda from Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors. It's a mouthful. Um, but you can actually make them a lot simpler too. We've done much simpler versions. And so today I just wanted to walk through exactly how we do it, showing you how um, Sketch and I did appliques for a costume we made for one of our friends from Vocaloid for KatsuCon this year. To get started, the first thing you want to do is take the pattern that you want to applique and draw it out on a piece of paper. Any old paper would do, printer paper works well here. You can kind of mess up with the pencil, scribble around, doesn't matter. And then cut it out and lay it on top of your costume to make sure it fits the area, it looks good, it's the way you want it. If you want to really get fancy, you if you have a reference image that you can put into a photo editing program, you can actually try to trace the pattern and blow it up to the size you want. Once you're happy with your template, which is the uh, template you create on paper, you can actually start making your appliques. The first thing you want to do is take the fabric that you're going to be making the appliques out of and iron it so that it is nice and flat. You don't want to have any creases when you apply your Easy Steam paper. Now what you want to do is take your um, applique paper. Now this is fusible paper. It is double sided so there's sticky side on one side and on the other side. Um, there's several different brands of this. Uh, I use Easy Steam but Heat and Bond is another one. You want to remove the paper from one side and apply the adhesive to the fabric. Now you're not going to iron on the adhesive at this point. All you're doing is just making the fabric flat and wrinkle free while you place the um, paper and the adhesive on and then you can cut out the section of fabric that you have adhered. You only need to make it as big as the appliques you're trying to make. These ones are small so we used a very small piece but you can use the entire sheet of paper. These usually come in eight and a half by eleven sheets. Once you have the piece of fabric that you're ready to applique, take your paper templates, lay them on the good side of the fabric. Make sure that you had not adhere the adhesive to the good side. You want the good side to be up where your paper templates are going to be. And to make your life easier, scotch tape them right on. And you want to do that to hold it in place while you cut out the details of the applique. It's smart to use a very small and very sharp pair of scissors to do this. It helps make sure you get all of your edges nice and tight. And what you will do is you can reuse this paper applique and every time you tape it on it's actually going to get slightly stronger because it's going to build up a layer of scotch tape over it. And the scotch tape is really easy to pull off your fabric when you're done if you have some residue. And it also just prevents the template from slipping around when you're trying to cut it out, especially when you have those center pieces like this one was, was leaves. Um, and so we had those center holes to cut out. The, the fancier the template and the more little pieces you have to cut out, the more you're going to appreciate having the, the tape there to hold it in place. Once you're done cutting out your applique, you just peel the template right off and you'll see that there is the backing side, which is where the adhesive is and how you are going to adhere the applique to your actual garment. So once you have all of your appliques cut out, you want to lay them on top of your garment where you want them to be. You can play with the arrangement and then you can start peeling off the back side of the adhesive and sticking the appliques directly onto your costume. This allows you to still play around. These are not permanently adhered until you iron them. So this is the juncture where you want to check everything, measure everything, make sure you love it exactly where it is. You can peel them up and stick them back down until you are satisfied. And once you are 100% happy with where your appliques are, then you will iron them down. And this is what's actually going to heat that adhesive and bond it to the fabric of your costume. You want to take it slow, have it on a pretty decently high heat, and make sure that you don't get any creases or wrinkles when you're bonding them onto your costume. Once everything's bonded, you could leave it like this, but to really finish it off, you want to edge it with a satin stitch. 
you want to set your machine to the zigzag stitch and put in a wide width for the stitch and a short length for the stitch. You can play around with the width and length and vary the size of your stitch to kind of get the effect that you want. Um, this was a pretty simple one, so we just did the edges and we did pretty much a standard stitch along them. And then what you want to do is line up your needle and go right along the edge where the applique meets the fabric to make a beautiful clean edge. And what that's going to do is that's going to stop your applique from fraying and it's also just going to give it a really nice clean line. You also can go over the top of your um, design like we did on the roses there to create some more dynamics. Um, we use the same color in this case but sometimes you can use a different thread color to kind of create some really cool effects. And that's pretty much how you make them. It's really straightforward. You can do the, even that first half where you just do the heat and bond version if you are, don't want to get into the satin stitching right away. That can give you just some, some nice clean lines. Um, and depending on how, uh, what kind of fabric you use, if it's not a fabric that's prone to fraying, you actually could get away with that for quite a bit. I actually did um, appliques without satin stitching on my Karu kimono most recently. So it can be done. Um, the satin stitching is not required, but it does add that nice finishing touch to it and especially if you're going to do something complex like Lulu it creates so much more dynamics within the actual applique itself because you're not just doing the outline you're actually making some of the details inside of it so it's something worth playing around with start with something I would say start with an applique that's larger if you want to experiment with satin stitching it's easier to do a bigger shape than it is to do the smaller more intricate ones um, and then you know experiment it's fun the nice thing about appliques is you can make one that's you know just this big it doesn't have to actually be on the costume make it on like a separate piece of fabric and play around with it and see what you find out well if you try this or if you have any feedback or if you have your own different ways of doing it let us know send us a voicemail or an email or comment on this video and you can subscribe to us on all of our stations on youtube on anime cons tv and we'll show that all up on the screen see you next time